What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to discuss probably the most classic of classic city tweaks and the third version of this thing got released yesterday and I was a little busy yesterday, I would have put the review up a lot earlier, but anyhow, here it is and let's go right into it. Now this thing has been around for quite a while so they've been upgrading things forever and what it allows you to do is everything, literally everything. You can do I can't even begin to explain, but I'll try. So let's just go through each section and discuss them. So animations, here you can choose a custom speed. So 1.0 is the amount of seconds, and that is default for iOS 7. If you want really, really slow animations, then you can raise the bar. And if you want faster animations, then go ahead and slow down the bar. It won't necessarily make your device faster, but it most definitely will make it feel faster. Let's go back into app slider. And here it says, hide the icons shown below the app slider pages, resize, resize app slider pages, and then of course determines what happens when you slide the home screen page up. So basically you can mess around with a bunch of more animations of the app slider itself. Have fun with that. Next we have a new one, Control Center, since it did come with iOS 7 in basically just iOS 7, not iOS 6. So here you can hide the separators and hide quick launch, hide brightness, hide media controls, hide airdrop, and hide settings. So this is basically all those control center hacks combined into one. So it does an excellent job at combining and stealing tweaks in a way. But I gotta say, this is what Spring Device was meant to do in the first place. Here you can hide the dock from the springboard, hides the dock background, icon settings. Yes, you can resize your icons. That's probably the most prone feature of Spring Tomize. That is the reason that most people want to get this tweak and end up getting the tweak. They want smaller icons, or better yet, they want to enlarge their icons to 500%. Have fun with that one. Trust me, it makes it look very interesting. I don't want to show it right now, but you're going to have quite a bit of fun with that. Next, let's go into folders and see what we can do. Once again, you can create nested folders, if you don't know what that means. You can make folders within folders within folders within folders, which, once again, another tweak can do as well. But instead of installing a billion tweaks, why not just have this one, right? Then you have pinch to close, transparent background, unblurred icon, there's a new one, no tweak can do that yet, and fast open close. Hmm, that looks interesting, I'll go enable that. Yes, you do have to respring in order for all these changes to take effect. Then you have more icon settings, resize, resize percentage, columns, cover flow, oh my god. Have fun with all this. I entered folders by accident again. And icons. Here's the icons themselves, so let me just read these. Hide the recently updated badge. Okay. Lock layout. Prevents, prevent icons from being moved. That might be a little annoying, but if you guys are OCD or something, feel free, go ahead. Disable wiggling. Well, there's an interesting feature. Maybe you guys are like, I know some people, a lot of people actually complained about the parallax effect and how it gives them motion sickness. So maybe this whole wiggling thing does too. Disable uninstall, hide badges, icon image. Oh God, this just goes on forever. And then go into lock screen. Now this one's going to be interesting. You can hide the camera grabber. So if you want to go back to like, oh, I don't know, iOS 5, go ahead, hide the camera. Um, slider style. Oh, this is cool. Hidden, custom text, custom time. Dang, you can do everything. Then you can set the time and the date to whatever you want. And we're on the last two. So you can clearly see how much this tweak can do. So hide dots, disable spotlight. Wow, you can disable spotlight itself. I'm going to do that too because spotlight annoys the heck out of me. Every time I go to swipe a page, what happens? Bang. Spotlight shows up out of nowhere. And I, I don't even use the thing. All right, more icon settings and cover flow and the factor and all that good stuff. Finally, we are on status bar. My voice hurts from discussing all this. So here you can have your custom carrier. So if you wanna change the carrier logo up at the top, which is in airplane mode right now, I keep that for my reasons. But if you don't like AT&T, eh, I don't know why you don't like AT&T, but then you can change it to, it's a random mobile network. Virgin Mobile, yeah. Everyone loves Virgin, right? All right, next we have custom time. Don't necessarily know exactly what that does, but if you wanna put your own custom time, go ahead. And here you can hide a bunch of things. So say you don't want the airplane mode logo there, like maybe I don't want it, or airplay, alarm, battery image, and wow, they thought of everything, dang. So guys, that was the tweak. 
and I know it probably took a lot of effort for these guys, Filippo Bengira, I don't know how to say their name, but they're the people who invented this tweak. And as you can see, these are all the people that worked their butts off making this tweak. So if you want to go follow them on Twitter, go ahead. And I hope you support their tweak by actually buying it and not just randomly hacking it. But it's up to you guys, not really me. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Like and share so other people can see it. This is going to be me logging off.